Welcome back everyone to the playoffs of the YCL. We're here against Sven in the quarterfinals. Um, you can see our rosters on the screen. Uh, looking at his, he's got Mew and Scylla Steeler, which are obviously his um, big picks, but then he's rounded it out um, really well in between. I don't think Scylla Steeler has a great matchup here, so I don't know if it comes. Funnily enough, Seeking has a really good matchup against me. Um, kind of walls, heat train, and uh, Zapdos. Um, Gudra is pretty good against me. Aware is his best Drake Vish Swift Chin. I uh, have a lot of trouble with uh, Zerkatry. I uh, kind of expect a Scarf Zerkatry. And yeah, he's got that Mew. Mew's always got a um, really good matchup. Um, I mean, I'm sort of confident in this this one um but i mean he does have that mew so uh there were some um prep matches that i did where i was in a pretty strong position and then mew just comes in and does something and you know i can't stop it so i did tweak my team a little bit to handle um some potential sets it can run but i mean i can't do everything uh i think I had a match against Mounte once last time when I had Mew, where uh, you know he was in front of me in that match, and then I just ran Agility Media Beam. So you run something unexpected, and you know you can really turn the tables. But I think I've come up with something that can go uh, reasonably well against him. So um, yeah, we'll get into that now. All right, so you can see um, the six that I think you'll bring are down the bottom, but I mean I say that with you know no confidence. I tried to put the six I think he'll bring and I kind of just gave up. Um, you know, Mew definitely comes. He's also brought, um, I think, Scylla Steeler and I think Exadrill as well. I think those three have come every game. Um, but, I mean, Scylla Steeler can come. If it does come, maybe a, uh, like, Toxic, Leech, Seed, Earthquake kind of set. I think that makes sense. Um and more defensive, but I mean, it could come. Um, but yeah, Mew, he can sweep me with like a Cosmic Power set. Um, he can do a lot with a Dragon Dance set as well. He could have Lumberry, he could have um, Weakness Policy. Um, yeah, there's heaps of sets that can do a lot against me. So I tried not to think about it um, too much. I did make some adjustments to try and shut it down, but um, yeah, I can only sort of do uh, what I can do and I kind of want to just go really offensive against his team um, Especially early and try to shut down his opportunities to get Mew in but yeah, we'll see how we go um, Scorpio the Drapion will probably be my lead um, I want to get up toxic spikes because that helps shut down what Mew can do and I don't think Mew is going to want to set up in its face either. Uh, it also has a decent matchup against a lot of his team really, Drapion's pretty good. I did think about running an offensive set, but uh, I ended up going more uh, defensive. I can't remember what my spread is actually. Uh, max HP, uh, quite a lot of speed, and then some spit F. So uh, I guess it's more, still more physically defensive, but um, the investment's more on the special side. Yeah, and I want to get up those toxic spikes, try to remove items. I'll probably have to be wary of weakness policy, um, poison jab for the whimsicott, and then earthquake for um, Incineroar and uh, the Excadrill on a switch in. I did think about making Drapion faster than Excadrill, but um, I end up going uh, for a bit more bulk instead. I don't know if that's the right call though. I don't know. I don't even know if he brings Excadrill, to be honest. But, yeah. Um, Dragovish. Uh, I need to get... If I can get his team chipped down enough and Dragovish to come in at the right time, it really goes nuts on his team with Fishius Rend. Um, this is probably the first really good matchup for Dragovish since um, week one. So, uh, yeah. If Mew sets up, then I can't really do anything. But... Um, yeah, if I get myself into a good position, then yeah, this can definitely win. 
I wanted to go offensive Heatran. The first set I actually built for this week was um, Choice Scarf Eruption, um, but I ended up going for this. Another Spadef. Uh, this is really bulk. I think it's, yeah, max HP, max Spadef. Um, I went with the Eject Pack so I can overheat out um, and get some momentum. Uh, if he goes into Gudra, I can bring in Mean Chiao um, and then threaten that and then yeah, build some momentum on the back of that. Um, Toxic is mostly there for the Mew. Um, yeah, that's... I had some options for that, but I mean, if I if Mew Stet sets up and it doesn't have status, then I'm just going to go for a Toxic. I think he could have Earthquake. Um, I don't know. There's not really much I can do um, that I can think of. I could have gone for like, you know, Taunt Sets and things, but... Uh, I think that's my best option. I might regret that later, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see what he actually runs. Um, Zapdos, I've gone for Volt Switch and U-Turn on this. Um, Seeking with Lightning Rod is a problem. If he doesn't bring it, um, then I can Volt Switch. Heat Wave is good for the Excadrill, so like, I'm not worried about Excadrill switching into uh, Zapdos. Um, Delmise, um, this thing's good. I mean, if I get up Toxic Spikes and his hazard removal is the Excadrill with Rapid Spin, it blocks that. Uh, Shadow Claw with the Crit Chance on Mew is good. Uh, I can heal up on quite a lot of his Pokemon as well. Um, so yeah, Delmise, I think it's pretty good in this match. Uh, and then Mean Shear. I've gone for Fake Out. Um, Fake Out's mostly there for the Zerka Tree. Uh, if I can get some chip or enough chip on that, uh, this does... Um, 25 to 30% with fake out. So if I can finish it off with that, um, you know, it might work me towards my end game. So yeah, we'll have to see how it plays out. But yeah, we'll be back for the match shortly and I'll see you there. All right, we are connected with Sven. So good luck, have fun to him. Uh, let's see what he brought. Like I said, I don't really expect to get his team right, but um. He does bring the Scylla Stealer. Zerk Tree's there, Frost Lass. Uh, so what didn't he bring? No Gudra. Bring Scylla Stealer. Oops, that's not right. Um, no Seeking either. Slash. Um, yeah, I just lead Grapey on here. I'll check what like a choice specs. Um, Frost Lass can do to me, but. Not enough. Yeah, so that should be fine. All right, let's do it. No Incineroar, no Whimsicott. All right, what is the lead? He goes Excadrill, then I go into, yeah, made sense. Uh, I'll go knock off turn one. And then I've got Toxic Spikes in the back. Go Spikes, that's fine, I guess. He should be Sash. We go Toxic Spikes. Nice. And 
And then... Uh, yeah, we're just gonna knock off again. He gets two layers of spikes up. Take out Frostlass. Alright, so... You could go Seal of Steel it here. Let's get draw that makes sense. And he's gonna Rapid Spin. I'm gonna go into Delmise here. Which might get um, Dracovish in early, which is nice. Does he go for Rapid Spin? Oh, Toxic, okay. Fair enough. Gonna be that kind of game. <laughs> Fair enough. Right, I will rapid spin. You might have protect. Could have gone into Zapdos, but I mean, I don't really want Toxic on Zapdos, so this is fine. He's having a good think about this. Give me the draws. So we're going to get rid of the spikes, so that's good. So he goes into um, his Scylla Stealer. Zapdos here. I mean, he could honestly go for Toxic again, really. I'm going to go into... I'm going to go straight into Heatran. And then I might go back to Zapdos. So I think he goes for Media Beam. Yeah. He hits. All right. Then I think I'll go into Zapdos because I think he Earthquakes here. I think that's the play that makes sense. lose here he's taking all my switch ins to 
Um, his Delmites can't take this, right? Can. Uh, all right, we go Delmites. I don't like it. Should give me a switch. Well, that wasn't meant to kill it, plus two. Um, unless it's a really high roll. Um, um, you know, he's at plus three. Fuck, I don't know. Um, Zapdos, fuck, I don't know. So much for a bad matchup. <laughs> but it's still a steal up, but I guess that's my own fault in a way. Um, I don't know what to do here. Bolt switch does a bit more. What does he have? That was ballsy going for the next media beam, but I could have gone for an overheat and took him out, so I didn't, yeah, I didn't expect him to do that. Should take this. Now the question is... The question is, what is his last move? Um... Could be Air Slash, so I think we just go for this. Should find out what his last move is here, I guess. Yes, don't flinch. Come on. These flinches, it should be game. Live on one. Now, flash cannon at what plus four? Should kill Zapdos. Um, I can live, but. 
That was brutal. the slightest of nothing chips, but like even flash cannon probably kills, uh, no, I can live with flash cannon, I'm not going to live an air slash though. It's not Sven's fault, but like that's that's not a game. Move on four. So I should have done that first. I don't know why he didn't go for air slash though. Like it's a guaranteed kill. He can just go. Yeah, Zerka tree. just vault switch out here to be honest. Uh, we'll keep this I guess. The fact that he specs, if I if I took out um, Scylla Steeler, I just win. Is that Zerka tree. Drapion. Oh, wait. Uh, 18, 118 it did. Oh no, that's Scarf. Oh, that's right, because I took out some special defense. <sighs> oh. I believe he basically ran nothing for a turn.
yeah, I don't know what to say about that. That's a shit way to end the season. Um, I mean, there's some other coaches in this league, which I'm not sure that we'd be able to beat with this team anyway. So it is what it is. Um, yeah, that's our season. Um, I'll probably be back for the next one. Um, yeah, <laughs> see you there for that.